In this lecture, we will run our application on the server and take a look at the RESTful WADL file. Before that, I need to uh, fix a typo that I have made in the WS context .xml. This should be service and not serve C. Product service. To run the application on the server, right click on the project in Eclipse, run as, run on server. Finish. If your server is already running, restart the server. Now Tomcat is loading the web application. It loads the web.xml, the listener and the CXF servlet in it. And the listener will wire all the beans and the index.jsp will be pushed to the browser or the output of the index.jsp is pushed to the browser which you are seeing here. Click on the available services and it lists out all the services. In our case, it's only one service. Click on the WADL link. Here is the WADL that is generated by CXF on the fly. The base URL starts with the server name which is localhost port number followed by the web application name product WS followed by services which we have configured in web.xml for the CXF servlet followed by the product service which is configured in WS context dot XML. For the post and the put method, the relative path that we configured using the at path annotation is slash products. And for delete and get, it is products slash ID. We need to pass in the ID as well. In the next lecture, we will start testing all these CRUD services.